Other terms in terms of scalar wave energy, chi, ki, prana, is not electric. These life forces can only be measured to a certain extent. Thus, this also tells us scalar wave energy has a lot of potential, unlimited potential of what it can do and how it can help humanity. The same camera that can take auras can take scalar wave energy. It's life force, not electric. Scalar wave energy already exists. So when you're using remote devices like we are, you're just accessing a dimension. And then when you access the scalar dimension, you are no longer bound to the electromagnetic dimension. You are no longer bound by time. And that is what makes scalar wave energy and remote healing so powerful in the quantum world. Now, some people have certain superstitions that if you take a photo, you capture the soul. It's time to turn these fears into power. And that's what we've been doing with scalar wave energy. We take the photos of a person, pet, house, place, whatever it is, and put it in the machine. And running through the quantum, sending positive healing energy to that person, place, or thing. Because the photo carries scalar wave energy itself. So. It it's important to note when it comes to bacteria or illnesses, disease, they also have properties of the non-physical in terms of emotional. And that is another factor of where, of where scalar wave uh, reside in and communicates in terms of the quantum. So you can actually get into the core reasonings with certain illnesses and diseases that create them using scalar wave energy. So. In the beginning years, Nikola Tesla started with AC electricity, as we know it, as we use it today. He also received over 200, 300 patents in his lifetime. Later in his life, Tesla discovered scalar energy, a five-dimensional energy, versus the 3D as we know it. And then he built a scalar tower in Long Island, New York. And why did he want to introduce it to the world? Because it's an infinite source of energy. So what Tesla wanted to do with his scalar equipment was no longer needing a power plant for energy supply. Way before solar panels became a thing, he understood, understood, overstood that the new power plants are the stars. And scalar is still way more powerful than solar panels. In the electromagnetic world, there's point A and point B. In the scalar world, there's only one point, hence the other term, zero point energy. Point A represents the universe in the electromagnetic world. So there's a lag time going to point B, but in a scalar wave world, in a quantum world, if you want to put it there, everything is interconnected. Thus, no lag time. So if you look at Tesla's Wardenclyffe to Towers, there is no electrical wires because he was not planning to use it at all. Because the new wiring system is the universe, scalar wave energy, chi, prana, ki, however you want to describe it, because that is our nature and we're tapping back into it. <laughs> So why do we use scalar wave and sacred geometry together? Because every scalar wave has sacred geometry embedded in it. There's a major groove and a minor groove. And the major groove is 1.618 times the minor groove, which is the phi ratio, the golden ratio found within, within all living beings. So we add everyone's picture onto sacred geometry and to the scalar wave. So here is what a physicist had to say about utilizing pyramids with scalar waves. And this is why we do it as well. So if you're one of those people that's also looking to detox from a certain, <clears throat> then scalar wave technology and breath work is a great combo. I'd love to just hear your thoughts on the pyramids and the shape of a pyramid. Is there any scalar energy going on there? Yeah, yes, there is. Yes, there is. I actually use a copper pyramid hmm. that I surmount on top of my Tesla coil. If, and, and in so doing, 
that pyramid on top of my coil allows me a greater grasp of geometry, so to speak. And when I place a copper pyramid on top of my Tessa coil, I'm able to access the nucleic acid of a virus and destroy the nucleic acid. No virus or injection can escape the quantum, so DNA can be healed. Hello, conscious breathers, infant beings alike. So this is a roidon coil that we use and we put the scalar field over it to amplify it even more. So we wanna show you what happens when we switch certain frequencies and watch what happens to the magnet. Pay close attention. Look what happens to the magnet because it's generating from the field. wild. So we would normally put the scalar over the torus field and no matter where you are in the world, you are going to feel it. I promise you. Greetings family. It's Gloria. Um, I just wanted to give an update on the scalar wave machine. Um, intentions and yeah um originally i did set an intention for my six-year-old sister um regarding self-confidence and self-esteem and recently i picked her up from the bus stop and i was just talking to her about like how school and she um brought up that at art she was sitting all by herself but then she took a pause and she said, well, well, she stated like more room for me and that she actually perceived it as something good, as something to be grateful for. And she's six years old. So usually that's not super common for me, at least. I haven't seen that to be common amongst that age group. And I was just stunned by her self-assurance and her perception of abundance and yeah I'm just really grateful um, for all these grand opportunities that we're sharing together and insights and yeah the um, scalar wave breath healing has been super powerful it, amongst my family and um, I do have a label printer I've been printing out stickers just putting it all over the house and yeah, I'm just really grateful. I hope all y'all have a wonderful day, a breathful day, and a blessed day. And yeah, um, we're night. We're international, so yeah, I'm just really grateful. Bye-bye. Angie, with the breath, man, that was fantastic. I had not utilized that before. I, I could feel that immediately. That was spectacular. <laughs> For sure. And then one more thing. Were you putting this the, your logo on the scalar wave last night? Yep. Dude, so I'm wearing your shirt and I wore Oh, Sam, to I totally forgot people are wearing Yeah, <laughs> and I wore it to bed last night and I forgot about it. And I woke up at three in the morning, freaking like vibrating. And I didn't know what mm. the hell was going on. And, and then it hit me that you were doing it last night, but I wasn't sure that you were. Yo, it was an experience. I almost had to take the shirt off because mm. I was literally vibrating at three in the morning for like I don't know, until I went back to sleep for like, it, it was lengthy and it was it was intense it was super super freaking intense so I wanted to tell you that uh to report in on that um bit of information so there you go